Hi everyone, this is Jamie from Magical Me, here with our Oracle Guidance for the month of January 2016. And what some wonderful guidance that we have here. Um, this month I decided to work with the Dragon Fey Oracle from Lucy Cavendish. This is a great deck if you uh, love to work with the elemental realm, um, dragons, fairies. Uh, it's also very raw, primal, and earthy. It's that um, connection with nature. So I really do love this because it feels very honest and very authentic to me. Also, Lucy Cavendish is one of my personal favorites. I resonate with uh, her work and her energy uh very well and she's I have a lot of her decks that you know everybody sees me use when I um, post on my Facebook business page um, so you'll see that obviously you know I do connect very deeply with her and the uh, elementals which just seems to be uh, a favorite of hers as well so I did go ahead and I already choose our I chose our card um, and it was Wu Wang and I'd like you to really take a good look at this card because I'm really gonna go into the symbolism here um, you've got, it says on the card, Wild Pure Heart. Wu Wang was a, I believe, an, a Chinese dragon lord that they uh, held sacred. And he represented wisdom, truth, and, um, you, know, on, you know, the honesty, but being almost like the pure honesty, so a purity. And he also was connected to the I Ching, which was the Chinese ancient divination system that they used. Um, and then you can see the comfort level here going on between the little fairy being and the dragon. Very comfortable. She's resting on his head. There's no uh, anger or, um, you know, it, discomfort between the two. And it's almost, if you look at the coloring behind the picture, um, you've got the uh, the pink and the golden hues here, seeming as if their, their, their aura or their energies are blending as one which is very interesting. Um, so going into this card here, what it means to be wild and pure of heart. Anybody who has followed my uh, Oracle Guidance posts every week on my business page on Facebook or um, my D Divine Feminine workshops or um, other spiritual people, uh, figures who, who do divination posts for the collective, you'll see that there's been a lot of talk of what we have been experiencing on individual levels as well as on a collective level. Um, and that is an emotional clearing out of sorts. So it almost seems like everything that we've been holding on to for the last couple of years really came to a head almost for the month of December. It was almost like it was the last hurrah here for the month of two, for the year of 2015. So it was kind of like act now. You cannot carry this stuff going into 2016 because um, on a global level, everybody knows, or you know, those of you who aren't familiar, um, we are shifting into almost a, like a new phase, a new way of being, a new era. And um, in terms of vibration, if you will, it's said that the earth is raising collectively as um, in vibration frequency and that is to move into a more um, loving nurturing feminine way of being and so um, this clearing out that we've been experiencing it's emotional issues that uh, you know have we maybe long since buried and thought that we dealt with um, relationships that were toxic for us friendships family romantic that were no longer working out we kind of see them you know making peace with that now and coming you know coming to a, a close so that we are moving forward or we are forgiving there's a lot of unresolved unresolved situations coming forward and we are now being given that opportunity to resolve them and either walk away or grow together and you're going to see a lot of romantic relationships either deepen or go their separate ways as well so the reason for this is because we are being asked to get back to our back to our basics, back to our wild and primal self. Self, and um, a lot of you hear when I post a lot. I talk about um, I call I call a lot of my followers the uh, wild ones, and and that's because we are at heart and in, in our souls we that is we are wild and free. And now. To be wild and free, is it almost sounds like a, a contradiction to itself, but it is also to be pure of heart, to be connected to nature, to the earth, 
to the animals, to the angelic realm, to the elemental realm, um, is to be your unprogrammed self. Okay, to and when I say that, um, I like it. To, I like to call it to, as the unbecoming. So it's almost like stripping away of everything that we've been programmed to think about. Uh, the world, the way that we think we should be, how we should act, the way that we think about uh, our consciousness, um, our creation, um, the other beings that exist with us, uh, the other dimensions. It's just all of these program belief systems now being stripped away so that we can see with the eyes of innocence, our pure virgin selves. Um, to see with the eyes of children, to see with the eyes of animals, they are all pure and um, and free of these program beliefs and limiting beliefs that I like to call, I like to call them. So, and 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 all this is happening because it's time for us to embrace one another, to understand that we are all one. We are, um, you know, they call it the one consciousness. Uh, you'll hear, and maybe some of you have already read about that. But to understand that we are not individuals experiencing this. While we feel like we, we have our individual lives going on, we are actually part of the whole. Um, so this is going forward into January. It's really about embracing and opening up your heart chakra. Um, embracing unconditional love and compassion for one another. Um, as well as for animals and uh, it's all about believing is seeing, not seeing is believing. Okay, so freeing yourself from anything that doesn't resonate with your heart or your soul, freeing yourself of negativity, of anger, of judgment, and going forward and, and, and looking to others with those innocent eyes, okay, with, with compassion and sympathy. So I, I really would like you to, to consider this going forward in any current situations that still might not have been 100% wrapped up in your life, especially because this week we are moving into um, Mercury retrograde, which makes communication and uh, understandings and misunderstandings um, all too difficult for us. And we will be in Mercury retrograde until January 25th. So I, I feel like it's very of the utmost importance right now that we really do uh, focus on compassion, really take a step back from a situation when you feel like you're about to react and really ask yourself, where is this coming from? What is going on within me that I feel the need to react like this? And where could this person or the situation be coming from um, that is eliciting this type of behavior from them? Okay, so really try to have compassion and love for one another and all of the situations in the world. There's also a lot going on with animals that I really want to bring up right now. And it's always been going on, but I feel like it's being brought to the forefront more so now than usual. And I'm seeing a lot of animal abuse. Okay. And I don't want to go too much into it, but I really would like you to reach out to animals. If you, if there's some way that you can be it providing some type of shelter. If you find a lost dog, please try to take it in just until you can find a safe place to bring it to. I'm part of, um, in my area, it's called Lehigh Valley uh, Pet Finder. And I uh, follow their Facebook business page. And they do share a lot of every time someone finds a missing, a, a pet that they, you know, looked like to be a stray, they will post to make sure it's not someone else's and have it go to a nearby shelter or something where it can be taken care of until its owner is found. Um, so things that you can do, uh, leaving out a little bit of food for the stray animals during this, during the cold seasons, um, whatever it is that involves compassion and integrity and acting from a place of selflessness and love. Okay. And moving forward, not only are you helping to shift your own vibration and raising your own vibration, but you're contributing to the collective seeing as we are part of the oneness and you are helping to assist in the shifting and the raising of the vibration of the world as a collective. Okay. So remember, this also includes anything that you're putting into your body that is not pure. Um, try to limit what you are consuming. Try to get out and get a little bit of exercise, even if it's just walking your dog 10 minutes, 15 minutes a day, um, taking a stroll in the park, reconnecting with nature, looking into working with not only the angelic realm, but the elemental realm as well, and having an open mind and um, being open to receive. Okay? 
I wish you much love and magical blessings this month, and I will see you again back in February. Take care.